Mad Hatter. Information, real name Jervis Tetch, occupation professional criminal, based in Gotham City. Uh, eye color blue, hair color red, height 4 and 11, weight uh, 115. First appearance Batman num number 49, November uh, 1948. <clears throat> Bio. Obsessed uh, from a young age with uh, Lewis Carroll's book Alice Adventures in Wonderland, <coughs> Jervis Tetch, an expect uh, hypnotist, embarrassing and delusion that he was uh, the incarnation of of a character in the story The Mad Hatter, using his skills for mesmerism. The Mad Hatter has committed many crimes, uh, often themed around uh, the book uh, that inspired him and his love of hats, hats and headgear, going so far as to implant his hat with mind control chips uh, to amplify his hypnosis uh, skills. Above all other headwear, however, he covets Batman's distinctive cowl and uh, will stop at nothing to accure it. Attributes Master of Hypnotism and Mind Control Obsessed uh, with hats, especially one-of-a-kind items delusional schizophrenic with a fixation on Alice in Wonderland. Tapes. Patient interview one. Subject's name Jervis Tetch, aka the Mad Hatter. Brought to Arkham Asylum by the Batman six months ago. Patient exhibits signs of obsessive compulsion and paranoid schizophrenia. Sit down, Mr. Tetch. But it's not time to sit. I need Alice. Where is my Alice? Please. No time to sit, not time to chat. I'm searching for Alice and I've lost my head. Guard, restrain Mr. Tetch. Get off me. Get off me. I'm late. I'm running out of time, Alice. Where are you? Alice isn't here yet. Just relax, Jervis. She will be here soon. I promise. Now, would you like some tea? <laughs> Is Alice here yet? No, I'm afraid not. Let us talk while we wait. You and I have much in common, Jervis. Really? Do you know Alice too? Unfortunately not. You and I both share an interest in the mind, do we not? I studied your papers, Jervis. You are quite brilliant. Truly an extraordinary mind. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's all just chemicals and synapses and rabbits and... Oh, where is Alice? You need to focus. Think about your work for a minute. You theorize that there is no such thing as free will, that you can change a man's allegiances, his motives, emotions, all of what we believe makes a man with chemicals. Your formula was really quite brilliant. That's why I used it. Well, how did you get it? Did Alice give it to you? <gasps> Wicked girl. Nasty little thing. Is she here yet? Soon, Jervis, soon. She... Oh, you told me that Alice would be here. She is, Jervis. She's right here. Alice? Alice, come out. Don't pout. Don't make me shout. Alice, come out. Where are you? Take a look at the pictures, Jervis. Oh... Oh, who are these people? Look again. Oh, I, 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 I don't know who they are. Oh, please, is Alice here or not? Look at the first picture. Look at the dress she is wearing. Look at the hair. 
It's Alice, isn't it? No, no, no. It can't be Alice. Alice has nice yellow hair. And isn't covered in blood. I think you know exactly who this is, Mr. Tetch. I think you remember the night you lured Stephanie Williams back to your research lab. How you offered her tea. What happened then? No, no, no. You killed her, no. didn't you? No. She was no. lost. It's okay, Jervis. It's all right to remember. How many Alices were there? I, I can't remember. <laughs> Well, Alice isn't coming, is she? That all depends on how you cooperate. I have a little side project that I'm working on. I could use your help. My help? I can't help. I'll be late. Stay focused, Jervis. This facility is old, tired, full of ghosts. Ghosts? A figure of speech. Do not worry. Arkham Asylum will not exist forever. Its techniques are old, its mission outdated. I intend to create a new Arkham, an Arkham that will rise Phoenix-like from the ashes of this one. Is there a fire? We should get out of here. I have arranged for some documents to be left in your cell. They outline a technique I propose to control the mind of... Uh, Shall we just say, weaker souls? I cannot do it without rabbits. I need rabbits for my research and tea and... And Alice, I know. I have arranged for a number of test subjects to be at your disposal. They have been here at Arkham for so many years that no one will miss them. Shall we meet again next week? Oh, and I took the liberty of having your hats returned. I assume that will provide all the encouragement you require. Well done, well done. I must say you have outperformed even my wildest expectations. Yes, did you see the people at my tea party? They all behaved themselves. <laughs> yes, they did, Jervis. I'm very pleased. I have just one last request to make of you. You must keep it a secret. Can you keep a secret, Jervis? With enough hats, I can stop people remembering secrets. Does that count? It will have to. I need you to pay a visit to Warden Sharp. He needs to come around to my way of thinking. <gasps> to join our tea party? Exactly. I don't want to. Of course you do. How else will you get to play with Alice? What? I have a new assistant for you, Jervis. I had her brought in specially. Look at her. She's just through there. Oh, it's Alice. She's here. No, no, what are you doing? I need to see her. And you can, as soon as you do what I asked. Can I keep her? Of course. She'll be all yours. She's Alice. Horrible. Oh, people. <clears throat> Hush. Information. Real name Thomas Tommy Elliot. Occupation. <clears throat> Surgeon. Serial killer. Based in Gotham City. Eye color. Blue. Formerly brown. <clears throat> Hair color. Reddish brown. Height. Six and three. Weight. 225. First appearance, Batman number 609, January 2003. <clears throat> Bio, Tommy Elliot and Bruce Wayne were childhood friends and are known to Bruce's dark reflection of each other. A childhood sociopath Sasha path uh, Elliot tried to kill his parents so he could control their fortune. When his plan failed, due to the surgical skills of Thomas Wayne, Bruce's father, Eli Elliot blamed the Wayne family for his problems. An incredibly gifted surgeon as an adult, Elliot uh, has spent decades uh, planning an elaborate uh, revenge uh, scheme to destroy Bruce Wayne. 
attributes, great physical strength, augmented by the drive of revenge, world-class surgeon, master of disgust, determined to destroy Bruce Wayne. Black Mask Information, real name Roman Sionis, occupation professional criminal, based in Gotham City, eye color brown, hair color brown, height uh, 6 and 1, weight 195, first appearance Batman number 386, August uh, 1985, <coughs> bio. Following the suspicious death of his wealthy uh, parents in a fire, Roman Sionis uh, inherited uh, their fortune and went um, on to bankrupt their company. Saved with a buyout by Bruce Wayne, Sionis came to resent and hate his rescuer. Fixated on the concept of masks, Sionis carved one from his father's black coffin and sought revenge on Wayne. His unusual battle with the Dark Knight caused his mask to be burned into his skin, remaking him as the Black Mask. Sionis is now a feared gang leader and one of the most powerful mob bosses in Gotham with a burning heart of the Batman. Attributes Obsessed with masks Harbors a heart of Batman and Bruce Wayne Face resembled a black skull Feared and powerful mob boss Skilled marksman known uh, for this double handgun, handguns. Jack Ryder. Information. Real name Jack Ryder. Occupation investigative reporter. Based in Gotham City. Eye color blue, hair color black. Weight 6. Height 6. Weight uh, 194. First appearance, showcase number 73, March 1968. Bayer, Jack Ryder is an investigative reporter turned controversial uh, talk show host well known uh, for his aggressive manner and his uh, relentless uh, determination to get to the truth. With the opening of the controversial Arkham City at hand, Ryder hopes to discover the roots of this dangerous stronghold and expose them for the good of Gotham. Attributes Determined reporter Known for his aggressive pursuit of stories Famous for his uh, controversial talk show Poison Ivy Information Real name pa Pamela Lillian Eiley uh, Occupation uh, pro Professional Criminal Based in Gotham City Eye color green, hair color red, height uh, uh, 5 and 8, weight 115. First appearance, Batman uh, number 181, June 1966. Bayer, botanist uh, Pamela Isley, was transformed by the science, science experiment gone wrong into a plant-human hybrid. With chlorophyll flowing uh, through her veins instead of blood, she developed a toxin touch and a pheromone-fueled uh, talent for seduction. Her unique brand of eco-terrorism often puts her into conflict with Batman, was Iron will usually protect <coughs> him from her seducive uh, powers. Since her encounter with the Dark Knight on Arkham Island, Ivy 
has uh, been transferred to Arkham City, taken uh, refuge uh, in a uh, wine-covered uh, stronghold. Ivy Walt rather keeps uh, humanity away than party partition participate in the gang wars of Arkham City. Attributes able to direct uh, the growth of all plant life. Plant genus mixed with her DNA. Exude natural pheromones that control victims. Skin uh, secretors uh, a deadly toxin. Pathological drive to protect nature from humanity. Killer Croc. Information. Real name well, Waylon Jones. Occupation. Alligator wrestler. Gangster. Murder. Based in mobile. Eye color. Yellow. <coughs> Hair color. None. Height. Uh, nine. Weight. Uh, three. 110. First appearance, Batman number 357, uh, January 1984. Uh, Bio, born with a rare mutation that's made his skin green and scaly and grew his body to grotesque proportions, Waylon Jones was raised by an alcoholic aunt and uh, boil it uh, relentlessly for his appearance. He uh, briefly worked as a carnival freaks, freak under the name Killer Croc, but his misanthropy grew with his animal nature, uh, pushing him to a life of crime. And his uh, physical condition and mental state deteriorate, Killer Croc becomes a more bestial for increasingly uh, detected from humanity. His whereabouts uh, are unknown since his escape from Arkham Asylum. Attributes Incredibly thick, uh, tall skin and razor sharp teeth and claws. Strength and stamina are at uh, a near super uh, human level, high intended senses and extremely fast reflexes, can survive in water for extended period of time, and uh, intense hearted of humanity. Bane. Information, real name unknown, occupation professional criminal, based in Gotham City, eye color brown, when on venom uh, green, hair color gr brown, height uh, 5 and 6, when on venom uh, 9 and 2, weight 140, when on venom 350. First appearance, Batman Vengeance of Bane, number 1, January 1993. Bio, imprisoned from birth to serve his dead father's uh, sentence, Bane was uh, raised inside the horrific environs of a Santa Priscan prison. Subjected to military experiments with the, the experimental uh, ultrasteroid venom, uh, his superhuman strength and iron forge will help him to escape. Uh, determined to build a criminal empire, so he sought out Batman and broke the dark night spine. But Batman recovered and managed to best Bane, cutting off Bane's uh, precious venom supply. Since the events uh, at Arkham Asylum, it's <clears throat> rumored that Bane has turned over a new leaf and an effort, effort to save others from similar addictions. Addiction. 
attributes, master strategist, intense focus, ab abnormally strong reaction to the supersteroid venom, determined to best all who challenge him. And the calendar man. Information. Real name Julian Day. Occupation professional criminal. Based in Gotham City. Eye color blue. Hair color non. Formerly brown. Height uh, 5 and 9. Weight 215. First appearance. Uh, Detective Comics number 259. September 1950. Eight. Bio fixated on the calendar. Uh, <clears throat> Julian Day uh, became calendar man, a villain who tied and tied uh, his crimes uh, thematically to certain holidays throughout uh, the year, of often leaving clues by which they could be caught. Gotham City's hopes for a day off are often clouded by the knowledge that uh, any holiday of note is likely to be shadowed by Calendar's main presence. Attributes obsessed with uh, quirks of the calendar. Okay, that's all, my friend. Goodbye.